I am a black woman and I feel like it really like challenges like my identity and who I am and diminishes that. Let me tell you guys about entrepreneurs who have worked themselves and did the tough thing during COVID. When I say work themselves, they worked themselves, worked the company and stayed open when the government tried to shut everybody down. And now doing that tough work, doing that hard work can qualify a business for $26,000 per employee at covidtaxrelief.org. Government funds are available to reward companies with two or more employees that stayed open during COVID. This is not a loan. You don't have to pay it back. The program is complicated. Nobody know it better than the CPAs and tax experts at covidtaxrelief.org. You pay nothing up front. They do all the work and share a percentage of the cash they get you back. Businesses of all types, including nonprofits and churches, can qualify even if you had a PPP loan. You did the tough thing. Now it's time for you to get your money back from that dirty government. COVIDTaxRelief.org. COVIDTaxRelief.org. You know, I think, you know, it's funny that, and, and I'm not saying that people can't admire people who are damaged. Um, and I don't think people are damaged beyond repair. I think that the repairman is the Lord Jesus and you can always be repaired. But people that are damaged often are celebrated and thrusted out into the limelight. Lizzo is da a damaged person. I thought it was particularly interesting in the documentary. There's a couple of thoughts I had about the documentary. There was some comment made by you about your critics will say you write music for white people. And I'm sitting there going, you just got to write the music that's in your head. You don't know who's going to respond to it. You don't know if black yeah. people, white people, you don't know who is going to, it's an unfair criticism and it only goes towards stifling whatever you have inside of you. I mean, that, it's a hurtful thing to hear that, right? Very hurtful. Um, only because like I am a black woman and I feel like it really like challenges like my identity and who I am and diminishes that which yeah. I think is really hurtful. And then on the other end, it's like I'm making funky, soulful, feel-good music that is so similar to a lot of black music that was made for black people in the yep. 70s and 80s. And, you know, and then on top of that, my message is literally for everybody in anybody. Right. And I don't, I don't, you know, um, try to gatekeep my message from people. So all three of those things for me, I'm just like, you don't even get me at all. And I feel like a lot of people truthfully don't get me, which is why I wanted to do this documentary. Cause I was like, I feel like y'all don't understand me. Y'all don't know where I came from. And I, now I don't want to answer no more questions about this shit. I want to show the world like who I am. She's admitting to the fact that she's feeling like people don't understand her and all this other stuff. And it's because when you don't have guidance, when, when you don't when you don't even know who you are as a person, then it's very clear why people don't understand you because you are everywhere. You are hard to understand when you don't have a basis of a position that you stand firm on. And you live a life as a complete hypocrite. I don't think people should bash Lizzo, but Lizzo would be a perfect example of making yourself better, hard work, dedication if she actually pursued that. When you weigh 400 pounds and you sh twerking and stuff at basketball games with your booty hanging out, you are a, you are a damaged person looking for attention. You didn't have love from your father like you should have. And I'm not trying to beat anybody up over it, but I think people like Lizzo, there's a lot of women in this world, men in this world that act just like them. When you don't have the love from your father, it makes you a very damaged person. And some people don't understand how damaged they are. Some people are damaged to the point in which most people would think there's no repair. Some people are slightly damaged. I mean you just got a dent on the fender. Some people's cars are totaled. And I think that, you know, I don't know her story. But I would argue if I go back and look at her story, I bet there's some fatherlessness issues there. Whether the father was there but wasn't participating or wasn't as close to her. And I could be wrong. I'm going to look it up. But normally when people act like this and they act out and Kanye West and all this other stuff, it's because 
they didn't have a father in their lives. And people like to think that, like, like as if I'm exaggerating this, people don't understand the significance of missing a father. It's almost like making a, a cake without using eggs. You make cake without cake batter. You could throw something together, but it's, it may not be complete. So, ladies and gentlemen, we'll talk more about it in the next segment. Hold the phone. I'll be back after the break. 